Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant Tech Talk. As the world enters into a post-digital era, companies and organizations are keeping their sights beyond their business's digital transformation, paving the way towards shaping how entrepreneurs, stakeholders, employees, and individuals communicate with the world through technology. In order to stay in the competition, Future-minded entrepreneurs must be aware that in addition to using digital software and tools in their current arsenal, they'll also need new ones in developing the emerging multiverse. When Sergey Brin showcased Google Glass's prototype for the first time at a charity event in April of 2012, the augmented reality headset brought surprise and dread. It was quickly adapted by many, and the users found the smart glasses fun and more than functional. While most of the crowd expressed curiosity, some of the people in the crowd did feel that their privacy was getting violated and labeled the wearers glass holes. Theoretically, virtual reality and augmented reality are very similar. They both serve the same purpose of immersing in virtual environments. But augmented reality is more inclined towards the realistic margin since it creates fabricated objects in real time. On the other hand, virtual reality is the development of an entirely virtual environment. And of course, mixed reality is a mix of both. As challenging as augmented reality and virtual reality may look, the use of advanced technologies to develop simulated environments has helped speed up and facilitate the process of architectural visualization. Instead of taking a significant amount of time to build physical models, these interactive interfaces came up with a new design language that easily obeys the rules of physics and allows individuals to be present in the project, experiencing the architecture. In today's video, we're gonna look at augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality, and then we're gonna look at the future of these technologies. As always, if you find this topic interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by leaving a comment telling us so in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into it. Augmented reality. Augmented reality is the virtual layer on top of the world before you, and it's a new era of discovery and revelation. While augmented reality applications relied on mobile phones and tablets in the past, they quickly expanded into smart wearable devices such as smart glasses, requiring a unique kind of user experience and design process. While the discussion over these three technologies is still going on, Augmented reality is a great prospect for designers to build apps using an image, object, and color recognition. Similar to how artificial intelligence feeds on data to make well-informed and strategic decisions, augmented reality leverages the recognition of major anchor objects within a given space. So for example, Apple's Animoji is a perfect blend between augmented reality and artificial intelligence. Now let's look at virtual reality and mixed reality. Virtual reality entirely takes you into the virtual world, whereas mixed reality, which can also be referred to as hybrid reality, combines real and virtual worlds. Virtual reality can be used for events, products, and virtual offices. With virtual reality, designers and their clients will be able to see designs scaled to real environments in depth before even entering the development phase. Applications built using mixed reality and virtual reality give new creative prospects to designers. This involves creating new experiences where users can communicate with products virtually and visit concerts, remote environments, events, and so much more. The virtual or mixed realities that developers and designers build can be aligned with the laws of physics to create numerous possibilities to experience the world like never before. So for example, Microsoft HoloLens Mixed Reality incorporates 3D holographic content with the real life-size environment, giving holograms real, physical context and scale. Mixed Reality mixes and blends an individual's physical surroundings with entities from the physical and virtual worlds together. With the help of this Mixed Reality technology, users can interact with both the physical world around us and digital content, as well as manage 3D holographic projections. So now let's have a look at the future of these technologies. The advent of virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality technologies 
is driving new innovations where physical and virtual objects are merged at different levels. Because of the development of mobile and embodied devices, along with highly interactive physical virtual connections, the user experience realm is turning into new types of hybrid experiences. One of the most emerging tools in this landscape falls under the category of extended reality technology, which is becoming more widespread in the lives of many people. The extended reality environment allows users to integrate a lot of creative technologies in order to expand both the real world and digital landscapes. A study by ID Tech X predicts that the augmented, virtual, and mixed reality market is going to be valued at more than $30 billion by 2030. Technological developments and innovations in artificial intelligence and deep learning that promote real-time image and speech recognition have helped merge virtual reality and artificial intelligence for new applications. The future of product design will need to be responsible for the mix of all three of these technologies. Some of the most prominent examples are Eolian applications that use artificial intelligence technologies to lower human error rates by means of augmented reality and virtual reality simulations of dangerous tasks. On the other hand, Virtual Lytics provides data visualization in virtual reality and augmented reality settings through artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies. These tools help tell us stories and share information like never before. Also, they can be used as robust emotional engagement tools, allowing us to develop empathy and connect with people beyond what gadgets or the internet used to offer. This is an extraordinary time to work with these technologies, since the majority of the problems are new and old rules don't apply. Institutions like MIT are driving the way with powerful experiments on new ideas. For example, the MIT Game Lab is building play labs to push startups in the augmented reality, virtual reality, and artificial intelligence fields. This move is sure to inspire many innovators in the near future. The future may be regarded as hyper-reality, being a mix of artificial intelligence, augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality. So for example, Escape Labs leverages augmented reality and mixed reality for holographic experiences for escape rooms, room scale puzzle games, and team building exercises. The need for bulky headsets and to connect with a static computer will no longer be the priority. The shift between the virtual and the real world will become much easier and faster. Hyper immersive. The internet was around for many years before we found out that social sharing was the key to increasing engagement. Similarly, it's expected that a mix of these technologies will see the same growth, resulting in numerous employment opportunities for designers. New and more advanced technologies will come with many undiscovered concepts, creating a need for coming up with best practices, guidelines, and design patterns. But the best part about these technologies is that they are in their early stages, and a lot of it needs to be figured out by the developer community. So, exciting times ahead. So there we have it. We've looked at extended reality, the future of augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality. Once again, if you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.